Hello guys, we're back again with Garage Mod for Beginners Basics, pretty much tutorial number two. This is going to cover over a bit more of advanced stuff in Garage Mod you can do. So, I'm going to just heal myself and I'll go down to um, other health packs, heal myself to 100. By using right click by the way guys. So yeah, heal myself to 100. We're basically going to just show you how you can start to use your spawn list and your fizz gun and your tool gun to create some stuff so if you don't want to get add-ons straight away and you want to kind of play about with Gary's mod this is the video for you this has just been creating stuff and kind of getting a basic outline of the sandbox game of Gary's mod so if I click on spawn list um, this is going to show me all the props I can spawn in um, I don't know if you you might not have half-life you might even not have team forge to a counter-strike on this spawn list section this is because I have the games installed on my computer and if I click escape and I click this little box here, I have these games already downloaded and I just tick the box because Gary's Mod works with these games and uses elements from these games to spawn in. Because I've got, let's say, I've got Team Fortress 2, I love all the characters from Team Fortress 2. I love all the characters from Team Fortress 2 because I have the game and I just, it's all made by Valve so the, and Source, they all just link up together. So, yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click onto the vehicle section and I'm going to click on Jeep. Now this is one of the first kind of basic tutorials that I kind of give friends or tips that I give people when they first get Gary's Mod that some of the stuff they should be doing. So um, uh, the first thing I always teach people is that I want to make this car have two seats. So if I'm on an online match on a sandbox server, I want to make a private server and me and my mate want to get in a car and want to drive around. This car only has one seat. That's it, no top seat, no back seat, nothing as an animal storage here, that's pretty much all it has. That and a seat. So what I always say to people is make another seat and then you can have your own model that's personally yours and you can personalise it and then you have your own kind of car that you've made, that's like your first thing that you build in Gary's mod. So what I'll show you how to do this and how the basic, it kind of follows the same principles for every single thing you pretty much build in Gary's mod. So I click on chairs, because guys mod when you first load it up will come with chairs, and I click on jeep seat. Now what most people do is when they get this they'll say, oh, let me just put that in there then. Well, it doesn't work like that. This is a complete entity, and it has its own barriers, like here. And even I can't jump through this. Now, most games are like this. You like When you're in like a game on COD, where these like stairs in the way, you thought, why can't I just jump over the stairs? It's actually a full barrier that's in the way. So you can't just put things into here. So in the tool menu that Gary's Mod comes built in with, it should say something along the lines of no collide in the construction tab menu. If you shoot this by having no collide selected in the tool gun, this will no collide this to wherever you other click except from the ground because it'll fly through the ground and then it won't work with that. It's probably just other entities and other props and things like that. So if I shoot the, this chair with this jeep, hopefully they won't collide with each other. Can now place this in there. I think that's a relatively yeah. I'll do that. I'll put that there. But now sit in this. I can now sit in the jeep. Jeep this one. Sit in there. So now I've got two seats for the jeep. Two working seats that are pretty good. But if I now get into the driving seat, I've, I've actually, sorry, I've not covered this, sorry, I'm rushing into this. Um, when Once you put the seat inside the, the Jeep, make sure you right click, this will freeze it. Let me just go into my drawing tab. Yeah, draw freeze, I should draw that freeze. Um, yeah, sorry about that. You need to make sure that you freeze your, um, your chair when you've got to put it in there, because that means it'll just fall through the floor and then, you, yeah, you've no, you've no chance of getting anywhere there. So if I now um, get in the drive and I accelerate, you see what happens? The chair isn't going with us. And this is one of the them steps that I kind of stumbled on when I first got guys, when I thought, how the hell, I've just frozen it in there, it should stay in there. And I used to do this with NPCs, I thought if you could freeze it into a vehicle, they should stay there. It doesn't work like that. What I've got to do now is I've got to go into constraints and I've got to click on weld. Now this weld is going to help me weld this seat to this car, well the jeep pretty much, it's going to help me weld them together so they become one entity together. I've also got a weld smart tab but this is an add-on so you'll have to get that separately which I'll cover an add-on on a full video which don't wait for that, will be literally probably straight after this one. 
So if I then click on this, make sure you don't mess with this force limit bar when you first start using world because if I put a limit on this world, that means that this can be bro uh, not broken. This can be broken at this like strength. So if I use like 713 amounts of force, the world will break. So if I put this, the limit to zero, there's no limit to how much the stress can take. So if I kind of use my V to go inside the Jeep and I just roughly shoot the seat and the car together. Now this won't work straight away because if you just do it off chance one and think that you've welded it right, it most likely won't work. So just make sure you go all around it and make sure, even if it's a double weld it doesn't matter, just make sure it's well, really welded on there. Let's check, Let's see if it's on, it's on. So now this whole Jeep is one entity. That seat is now part of the Jeep. So if I had another person on the server with me, I could easily just have him sitting in this one. Shit, in a minute, if it's gonna let me. Yeah, so he can sit in this one while someone else drives. So if I press control, I'm going to third person and see that this works fine. I mean, I know the legs stick out the bottom, but it works as a, a pretty nice looking seat there. There you go. So there's your first Jeep made, and if you want to keep that Jeep, um, I'll just spawn another one in a second. I've got one duplicated already. Um, I go into here, and now my duplications. This will mean um, something soon in a second. Oh wow, I really, I don't even have one. Right, doesn't matter. So yeah, I'll show you what that means in a second. So yeah, that really pretty much follows the same principle of making the second seat in the Jeep. So now if you want to go um, into the prop section of Gary's mod, I'm going to now show you how you can make your own like seats, your own separate things in Gary's mod. Because um, it, it all gives you all the materials to build stuff, but not all everything already pre-built in Gary's mod. I'll show you what that means in a second. So when I first immediately spawned into Gary's mod, I went to the spawn menu and I thought, oh, look at all the stuff that I have in here whatever, spawned the couch in, pressed E on it, and I didn't sit on the couch. And I thought, why is there no functioning couches in the game? And it's pretty much because it's just a prop. In Half-Life 2, you're not allowed to sit on couches, and this really bugged me. So if I slide the couch, this wall, and make sure it sits in there, it looks quite snug, doesn't it? I want to be able to sit on this couch, and I said to myself, I need to be able to sit on this couch. So, I found the way to make yourself sit on the couch. So it pretty much follows the same principle of how we just made that second seat for the Jeep. If I go into the Q tab and I spawn in, let's say, Airbot seat, because that's pretty much one of the best seats in the game. If I then freeze this couch, it's not going to move, and I move this car seat. Oh god, here we go. Shit, the bed, it's not working. Right, yeah, move it about there, and I sit on it. Yeah, that's kind of made it a functional chair, however, it looks like I'm a baby in a booster seat, and we don't want that. So, what we're going to do, is we're going to do what we did with the G, and we're going to click on no pull out, shoot the chair, shoot the sofa, or couch, I say couch, or English. And we just want to manoeuvre this over. If you're wondering how I'm doing this turning and bending, you want to hold E, and while you're holding E, You'll end up, if you pull backward, it'll go up like this. If you push forward, it'll go down, left, right. It follows the same principles. You'll know what it, you kind of get used to it when you're moving it around. So if I put this, let's say, there, and I sit on it, I kind of visualize myself. My guy's a bit too high, so let me just make it a bit lower. I'm trying to think in my mind of removing that chair if it wasn't there. Let's say there. Yeah. So we imagine that the chair's not there, that looks like a pretty good spot for the, yeah, his elbows resting there. Doesn't look out of place, he doesn't, the chair does, but Deadpool doesn't. So what we need to do is, we've actually got a chair now, all we need to do is um, weld this chair to the sofa, make sure we do. Now we've got a sofa with one seat. So we go like this, we've got a sofa with one seat. And this could work. This could really like work as a sofa, but it doesn't look good. If you want to use a sofa in like one of your videos, and you have you need to have someone sat down, and you know you've got someone sitting there, and you can't get NPCs to do this, and you'll need someone to be sat in a sofa. This is what this is normally used for. But you don't want this airbolt chair to see to be coming out. 
So what you're going to do is you're going to scroll down to the render section of your tools tab. And you want to scroll down to find a render, whatever it is, render, 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 here. And you want to click colour. Now you don't want to shoot this with a colour, so if I go on here and I shoot it, that's just made it worse. But um, Gary's mob comes in with a built-in transparency kind of pull here, which you can pull it down so that it's transparent. It may be pink, but it's well, purple, but it's going to be transparent. So if I shoot it now, it's like nothing is there. Now unless you go in the physics gun, you can see a kind of ghost of it. But no one will know that you've kind of got a chair in there. Unless you kind of like go close to it. So if I walk up to this sofa now, I can sit on it, which is quite cool. So all I want to do now is I want to do that same thing again. Let me just quickly do this for you guys. Okay, yes, um, this is it. So this is the couch I've just made. It's fully functional now. It works. This is a couch now. So we went from having a normal couch, which doesn't work. Pressing A doesn't do anything. To now having a couch that you can sit down on. And it works. So yeah, that's pretty much it. This is how you make yourself a couch. Now if you don't want to go through all the trouble of making a couch again, if you want to make a scene, all you have to do is click on duplicator, right click on the couch. Then go to dupes, save, make sure it saves and kind of refresh it. And it should be here and it will show you that you've actually put seats in it. To spawn it, you just click spam deploy and it will spawn. You have your own couch that you can reuse and reuse and reuse. And this is it. Now, let's say you've just made a couch and now you want to publish it, you want other people to use this couch so now you've already got it saved as a duplication in your dupe section you're going to click publish now this is going to end up on the steam workshop and the workshop is how you download mods in the game so if I type in um, let's have a look fully fully functional so far with to seats. Put that and I'll put that in here. Perfect sofa that can be used with no add ons. modes and then I'll just put press E to sit and enjoy. So yeah just pretty much put, put this over and use with no add-ons so you don't need any add-ons to download it because a lot of add-ons you'll probably need models and stuff to download. This doesn't require any add-ons because it's all coming with pretty much the same Half-Life 2 base. All add-ons are in the game. Press E to sit on the couch and enjoy. I'm going to put um, vehicle and other report posing and I'm also going to put publish and I can only choose one, I'm just going to put vehicle and then I'm going to click publish now what I want to do is when I click on add-ons go into go into the workshop let's have a look and here it is Alright guys, that's going to be it for this video, that was how to um, make your own kind of like seats and stuff to create, pretty much just the basics of making your own seats in kind of like cars and sofas and stuff, so you can put chairs on things and yeah, so you can sit on anything pretty much, yeah? 
And that's pretty much it for this episode, guys. Please uh, tune in for the next one.